Hey Technic fans, it's OSU Harding 1 and welcome to a LEGO Technic front loader comparison video. And today guys we're going to take a look at the uh, 42030. This is the flagship model front loader from 2014. It has about 1640 pieces or so and it's fully remote control, loaded with power functions and it costs $250. And the other one we're going to compare it to is the other most recent front loader that LEGO Technica has released. That's 8265. And it has 1,060 pieces. It came out in 2009. And it has, uh, it was about $80 when it first came out. It Now, if you want to try to buy uh, the smaller one over there on uh, third party websites, eBay, Bricklink, thing like that, it'll cost you about $200. So, um, Anyway, the reason I'm doing the comparison is, is the big flagship model received a lot of uh, negative response because it was so expensive and it didn't really offer anything any different. And to be honest with you guys, in this video I'm going to show you that is indeed the case. The only thing different that the flagship has to offer is that it is indeed much larger, as you can see here, and it's a fully remote control, but from a feature standpoint, it has no different features than the smaller one and in fact the smaller one has power function lights that the big one does not have so in a sense you can actually say that the uh, the smaller one has a feature that the big one doesn't but the smaller one is not remote controlled as far as driving or steering so that is one big difference that the big one offers and aside from the price uh, that's really about the only difference they both have uh, articulated steering meaning they steer in the middle they fold in half when they steer and I'll show you that they both have a six cylinder engine. Uh, the big one has an inline six, whereas the small one has a V6. So uh, anyway, let's just take a quick look at the two of them so I can show you the two features and how they both are so very similar. And my question to you is, do you indeed think the big one is worth it at $250 if you already own the smaller one? So let's take a look at the functions of the things. So one of the first things I want to do is just give you an overall size perspective. So you can see the size difference between the two buckets. And this is just a head on look. And it just gives you a real good idea of the size. And then also I just want to put a minifigure up here to give you an idea of the size of each of the buckets with the minifigure to just kind of give you an overall perspective of the size. And so this is just another angle again just to give you a size perspective. Uh, just, just so we're clear that the, the new bigger one here, it does have the same tires. Those are the largest uh, tires that LEGO is currently making. Those are the ones that were on the Unimog. So uh, that just gives you an overall size perspective from a different angle here. So now let's take a quick look and see how uh, the engines of these two things look. So the new flagship has those new green cylinders there. This is an inline six to give you an idea. So it's just a much bigger, not any bigger, but they're just inline. It's not in a V shape. And on the smaller one, it also has the engine in the rear under the same cover, except it is now a V6 and the, the power function motor mounts above it on the top of it. So that's why you're seeing the motor there. But it is indeed a V6. All right, so the next thing we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you the features and how they basically have the same functions. So the first thing we're going to do is the, the, we can raise the boom on each one of them. So the big one here is remote control. So I can pull this down and it just lifts up the boom as you would expect. And of course the small one will do the th same thing. Except this one's manual, doesn't have remote control. The next thing that we can do is tilt the bucket. So the big one is remote control. And so the small one does the same thing. Power functions. Now the small one did not come with power functions in the box. That was an optional feature to add. So that was something that was in addition. So I guess the, uh, the $80 that this one cost, you had to add the power function kit to it, which was another about $30. Now the next feature that they both have is obviously the, the small one has manual steering via hand, to, hand of God steering at the top. And as you can see, it articulates here. The pivot joint is in the middle. The big one does the same thing, except it's just via remote control. Okay, and lastly, the one thing that the big one has that the small one does not have is it's obviously got propulsion. And the small one, of course, is just manual. 
But the same thing exists on both that when you, uh, when you roll it along, the engine reciprocates. So they both have the reciprocating engine. So anyway, guys, this is just a real brief demonstration of the two of them together. So like I said in the beginning, if you already have this small one, do you think the big one is worth buying just to have it as a remote control model? Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Do you like the big one better or do you like the small one better? And if you do have the small one, do you think the big one is worth buying? So that's going to wrap up this comparison review, guys. Thanks for watching and keep checking back here on OSU Harding 1 for more LEGO Technic reviews.